I want to ask you to come with me on a journey. A journey that started three years ago when I thought I knew what my life would look like. And I had no idea. A journey that has shown me more about the Father's heart and his extravagant compassion than I could have ever imagined. A journey that requires me to give more of myself every single day. It's a journey that took me from a 10-month commitment to teach kindergarten in Uganda to a lifetime commitment of bettering and serving this country. I'm Katie Davis. I'm 21 years old and I live here in Uganda. I run Amazima Ministries and my full-time occupation is that I'm a mom to 14 little girls. From an early age, people would always ask me, you know, you'd have like career day, what do you want to be when you grow up type thing, and I had always said I wanted to be Mother Teresa, just because I guess I just loved her heart for children. It is my 16th birthday and I'm eating sushi at my favorite restaurant when I tell my parents that I'd like to explore the possibility of doing mission work out of high school. I graduate high school having made a commitment to teach at a preschool for a year in the middle of nowhere, Uganda. My parents were so not on board, but you know, it came to a point where it was like, okay, God said you choose me or you choose to please your dad. And uh, what is, what's it going to be? And I said, all right, I'm going back. It is January and I'm looking at a little girl crushed under a brick wall with no one to take care of her and her siblings. I offer to take them home with me until we find a better solution. I'm not really sure what to do with them, but I know that they are God's children. They stay. It is three days later, and the littlest one looks up and she calls me mommy. My heart breaks in two. I have no idea what to do. But something clicks. I'm even more scared than the day that I stepped on that plane, but I know that this is right. Today I have 14. I get a lot of that, like, do you really feel that they're your children? Do you really feel like it's a family? And I say, you come on over for dinner and tell me, because um, it is. It is our family. People say to me all the time, like, wow, you are so lucky that you found what God wants you to do with your life. And I kind of look at those people and think, like, well, I didn't. I didn't find it. It was just it was just in the Bible. And so as someone who calls themselves a Christian, I mean it's very apparent that you are to love the Lord with all your heart and then you're to love your neighbor as yourself. And like myself doesn't want to be starving. And so I don't want other people in the world to be starving. Jesus does not ask that we care for the less fortunate. He demands it. When calling ourselves Christ followers, caring for orphans and the desolate and the widow are not an option. It's a requirement. I would like to invite you to come with me on this journey that is so far from over and see what God will do next.